Now let's talk about King Casino. It's one of those characters I would say is semi popular the first time you appear of uh, high risk in the mini series of villainous. That comic he appears very little, but yet he leaves sort of like a oppression in the fandom because when he showed up he did have some fair art, but it sort of died down and you think, okay, next to the new character, the old the fandom you sort of assess with. But no, so recent King Casino once in a while keep coming back in the fandom, so I'm making a far, uh, a fan art, something doing something else, just because of King Casino. But honestly, I'm not sure why he's super popular. Even some of my subscribers commented they actually want me to do a video of King Casino. Yeah, I thought, I don't think I actually can make one because whatever I said of King Casino had been said in my second video of Beruin, the comic book of high risk. And I don't think I have much to say till Alan, his own Twitter account, he dropped an image of King Casino in Miss Bat Doom. And to me, it sounds that Alan actually noticed this too so much that he decided to make a drawing of King Casino. I don't know if that's sort of a hint he will appear again of the how to be evil of Black Cat's book. We don't know. We do we not know when it's coming out yet. But it seems maybe he will appear in that book. Also, Miss Bad Doom. We just honestly we don't know. It's just sort of an interpretation or a theory, if you will. But all of that, it feels sort of strange how this one character really took the fandom and lingered. It's something that people will not let go. And I feel this is sort of the first. A flag you could say or first hint that people actually want more or he will probably blow up even more than Alan decide to show them somewhere else in the show and the comics or a comic book strip or even uh, creepy Charles block if she actually talked about him there's more chance he would get more notice more fandom more love about this character and I feel it's sort of kind of strange of course before I get started, my name is Retro. I like to talk about animation, not just animation, reviews, fresh impressions, cartoon theories, and sometimes, if I have some spare time, cartoon breaking news. Of course, if you like how this is going, it really helps my channel for like, comment, and subscribe. If you choose, if you want to help in my channel, of course, it's sort of obvious why I'm asking because I'm a small channel. I'm only 800 some subscribers, getting close to 900. But my main goal is to get 1,000 subscribers. I am getting very close thanks to all my subscribers who actually subscribe, comment, and like. Every little thing really helps my channel. I am completely thankful if you do. If you don't, that's fine. Let's talk about the sort of theory or conversation of King Casino. Now, what do we know about King Casino or who is King Casino? Well, King Casino is a type of guy who is basically one of the dons in the city of Villainous. That he is one of the most powerful ones. In fact, there were five dons, if I remember correctly, and he is number one. His main gimmick, what he is, the organization is all about, is gambling. In fact, his whole theme uh, screams uh, Vegas, in other words. It's like how he fights, how he walks, what he actually wears clothes. But the only thing is interesting, we don't know much about him, just that he's a Don, one of the best Dons, and his main goal is just make more money. But after that, we have so little more to talk about. One of the things is sort of confirmed that he liked to fight hand-to-hand -hand combat. The second the second is sort of confirmed he could sort of summon people with sort of card playing cards that he could actually Force him to become animate objects of a sort of gambling theme, sort of dice or poker. And also that he may know Black Hat, but we don't know his side of the organization. Because in Vietnamese, you you never know who is the organization you don't. Not every single villain inside the organization. The only way you go in is if you are very desperate. Or you know someone who knows Black Cat, who actually give you a sort of a recommendation to go inside the org or organization to go in. Because in the comic book of High Rex, when Casino uh, talks about how he understands what Pochin did, he broke the contract, it almost seems he read the contract himself. 
like he was sort of tempted to sign it because we don't know he actually was sort of did the paperwork. He is the organization or he did talk to Black Cat, but he chose to not do the contract. He just doesn't want to go inside the organization. He did it by himself to be a dog. And it's one of those things that is possible. In fact, I hope it is because it would be a really great example of a villain doesn't need Black Cat's help. He could do him himself. But at the same time, the certain lingering question, maybe Black Cat could actually help him more. That sort of temptation of a villain fully becoming Black Cat henchman. But to me, how he acts as a character, he never asked for help. At least, that's what I chose to interpret, what little information we have. On top of this, you also have henchmen, specifically female henchmen, and he prefer only female henchmen. If he does have male henchmen, usually are the ones who are working in the casino. But once more, they're all playing cards, sort of theme, Las Vegas type of characters. But the really dangerous one, the ones who work under him, are all female. They're all master of martial arts. But we don't know how he actually recruits them. But we don't. We do know every single henchman female is a simp of Black Cat. They adore him. They just ooze it. Please be in my attention, my love. And that's sort of over ridiculous love obsessive female. That just sort of a a caricature now works. But it's kind of worked because King Casino is not an asshole. See, to me, he's sort of a romantic type of person. And that makes, se makes sense what type of character he was sort of drawn to be. That sort of suave, loving, risking all type of character. But be known, one of the biggest traits we know of, that King Casino never risks gambling only if he believes he can actually win. That's the only time he actually risks it. This is the reason why he took on Portini, because Portini tried to take off him. This is the reason why he was legitimately inside his own territory and beat him up so basically wasting time to Black Hat sense one is his own henchman to get rid of him because he basically uh, go against the contract. Once again, it really tells how smart uh, King Casino really is. But at the same time, I'm kind of wondering what his abilities really is because it's sort of very limited. We don't know his full extent, his own power. I know, I understand he can actually fight hand to hand combat. He can summon or maybe teleport people, but after that, the rest of it is sort of unclear. We don't know his status of his abilities, what he can do, how he could do, or all the women who assess with them under his control. I mean, mentally. That's the thing I'm sort of wondering. Does he have a special ability to control female women? Or even man, something like a Poison Ivy type of character. That could be possible because it's not unusual. You have so many female characters assess one main character, specific male. Once more, it's sort of a cliche in anime. All these women assess with the bad boy. But King Casino, he is evil. But see, to me, he's very reasonable. Of course, if you break his one hit rules, like cheating in his own casino, he will break you. Or even worse, become part of his decoration in a playing card. Words. But once more, we don't know his full ability of transformation. That he could also transform a sort of theme kind of casino, only specific things, only items. He could tell people, teleport people to point B, to point A, or even that how much control he has with the person. It does a tra a teleport or transform because, once again, the female henchmen, how they act around King Casino. That's leave a lot of questions, but yet I'm sort of more interested of why people are sort of obsessed with this character. I guess he's sort of the Chad type of character. The guy who has so much confidence, he just oozes. And that sort of makes sense because the main villain, he has sort of swagger, sort of razz, that you really sense that, that a lot of people respect that also fill with love with that, even that you are kind of a criminal, but it also makes sense you're a fair criminal. At least that's I 
chose to interpret because how many different female henchmen just assess with him. But once more, that's sort of a sort of anime sort of trope. If you know Mexico, they do love the anime so much more than you uh, you uh, so much more than Americans. So it's sort of about to happen. You see a anime trope in a Western serve sort of comic or show. Oh, you you get the idea. But besides that. What do you think of King Casino? You think this is a reason why people assess? Do you believe that King Casino is side the organization on Black Hat, or he's one of those people who reject Black Hat, but he sort of respect them, but he doesn't want to join because he fears maybe it's too much? You think is that the type of character is that smart? But tell me down below how you felt about this character. Because this is the reason why I talk about is because one of my subscribers commented he want me or she want me to make a video of that. But honestly, I wasn't sure how to tackle it. So this is the best version I can tackle this specific subject matter of King Casino. Tell me down below how you felt about King Casino. I got nothing else to say. Just thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day. Bye.